Hello everyone, today you are going to learn how to create a reset password feature in your website. I'm your Vegas and watch until the end so you don't get confused and end up giving up on the feature. The first thing that I want to talk to you guys is that the login page needs some little changes or even better, only one change. You can see that here it's email address but if you do something wrong, you see, it says username because all we did was programming to the username, not to the email. So the only thing that we are going to change is the email address level. Then we are going to index to the first one, change the email address to username. It's fixed now, okay? Now we are going to press this don't have an account and we are going to change the part where we click in here and it doesn't go anywhere because it is index.html and we need to go to index.php. So in sign up, we are going to change to PHP where it is. Yes, I found you. There you go. Another really important thing to do as well is if you want to keep your website intuitive for yourself, not for the users, but for the developer, you are going to change this repeat password to confirm password because the name it's confirm password. Where, here we go, you see? And also in every variable in your registration form. Now we are going to change a little bit about this welcome page. We are going to create a page called resetpassword.php so we can actually reset the password. So here we go. Now in here we don't have really an interface and we are going to do it now. Firstly I'm going to copy this and paste, of course I could use the exclamation mark but I didn't have the bootstrap links index so I just did like that. Now okay here's the default definition then we are going to start with the four normal things right which are the content center with the reset password just the title of course we have here the little boxes that are going to close the thing up and only one more okay and there we go now we need to come format yes exactly format after this we are going to straight up and copy this form which is going to be to php self and method post nothing that we haven't already explained before and then we are going to start with the new things not really new but in here it's new we are going to use input and a level with the same scheme as the sign up where the stuff floats and we are going to instead of only putting form control we are going to put form control large because without it it is going to be way smaller i'm going to show you when we get to the page now the confirm password as well which also has this form control large and lastly an input with a submit as always because you need to submit information and, and an anchor so you can go back into the welcome page imagine that you misclick on the reset password feature you can just go back and in here there are some new things we've centered it of course and we've put it to the maximum width that it can have but we also put some margin top of three just to don't stick right together with the submit we can change it of course and we've put the link danger which is the way of changing the color of a link because red is way better than blue when we are going to go back okay go back now the css and html or bootstrap and html has already been done now we are going to log in okay of course it didn't update now we are going to use the test account and we are going to reset password here it's the layout i made something really fast and straightforward since it hasn't anything pretty much anything new. The name, I've already put the confirm password and the new password name since we've already talked a lot about names and you already know what it is and what error comes up if you don't do it. We are going to start with the back end, with the logic of the reset password. The first thing as always, we are going to give some space so we can work in peace. Then we are going to open and close the PHP. Then we are going to start the session so we can do the following validation. If the logged in session is not set, so if it is null or if it is not true, if it is anything else but true, we are going to redirect the person to the login, which is our index.php, and we are going to exit. If we actually are logged in and we want to change and it's all right, we are going to include the connection file. Do you remember this file where you make the connection with the database? Now we are going to assign every variable that we are going to use to empty. Both the new password and confirm password because we need to check both of them and the new password error and the confirm password error. If the form is submitted with a post method that it is supposed to be because you see, 
we are going to use it okay it's down here yes exactly post math we are going to validate the password inside of it if it is empty without spaces the trimming function if you still remember it we are going to ask for a new password if the new password hasn't at least six characters of course you can change it select the six Control d and you remove it to 20 to 10 or 20 or 13 or 5 or 4 but for me in my opinion it looks good in 6 and if everything is okay we are going to reassign the new password with the trimmed version of the post variable new password now we are going to confirm this confirm password which is simply seeing that seeing if it is empty or not if it is empty we need to say that we want a confirmation of the new password and if uh, there is a password we are going to assign the confirmed password to the trimmed version of the confirmed password and now if the password error the new password error is empty and the both passwords do not coincide we are going to say that they do not match so with all validations made we are going to enter and check if the input error are there or not we are going to prepare an update statement We've never done an update before, that's why I really wanted to do the reset password so you can understand how the update works. In the first part, it's update users. The table, set password. It's the attribute of the table that you want to change. Here we only have one, and we only have this question mark, so one came to be changed with the parent or later. And then the where. We cannot update something and think that the program knows what we want to update. We are going to give the ID, then we are going to the statement with the link of course from the connection and the SQL which is the SQL query it doesn't have to be this name we could name it like query query is also a really good name since we are going to use SQL in everywhere we are going to stick with it please now we are going to check if actually worked if it worked if there were not a single error we are going to start binding parenters and in here that that's also new the SE it's just to assign, if you can see here, the string types. The first it's the statement, and the second it's the types. So, string and int are integer. After this, we are going to put an array and vars and variables. Okay, we could put this in array, but we are going to put it in a parameter of password and parameter for ID. We are not going to mess the things up. Then we are going to set the parameters. The first one is going to be the password and to prepare the parameter of the password we are going to hash the new password so we don't store any password not hashed we keep all the security of our users secure now to bind the parameter id we are going to ask for the session variable id which we created when we do login so you can see here yes exactly we store the data in session variable the id equals to the id and so we can access this session if we open a session up here that we see started then we are going to attempt to execute the prepared parameter we are going to prepare it do the statement if it goes all right it is going to be updated and we are going to destroy the session after this we are going to be again redirected to the login so you know so you see it's the index it's the login just go to login of course and if it is not we simply say that something went wrong with the statement which uses to be the backend problem okay it's when the statement doesn't work it's because we made some mistakes. After this, we are going to close the statement and close the connection. There you go. Now, if we refresh it very hard, you see exactly, we are going to try to use this functionality. Reset your password. And the password is test123, the current one. So, we are going to try to update to 123456. Copy, paste, it's the same thing, submit it. And we got to the login. Why? Because it probably got changed. So you're going to see this password here. You see that it has like this. Let's refresh and see if it is still the same. No, it is literally not the same. It changed a lot from here. But we are going to start doing the validations anyways, because they are meant to be done. Now we are going to change some stuff in your HTML. The first thing that I told you guys is going to be this class. We need to add some class to say when it is not good or not. Yes, you've already saw a lot of that in my previous videos, but yeah, you still need to show the errors and show if it is invalid or not and blah, blah, blah. Straight up the same thing for the confirm password as well. And now some spans below the label here as well. And there we go. The confirmations are already done. Now, so if I put A, A, at least six characters, right? Now if you put 
test123 and I put an NA, the password did not match. So with this, you'll learn how to create the both interface, the front end, and also the back end, the logic of the program, where you did the update here. You didn't even need to do the select since you already had a ID of the user in your session start. Now lastly, before I forget, again, I'm going to show you guys the difference between having this large or not. Like this is like this, okay? But if I remove this large from both of them, I'm going to refresh it and it will be even smaller, which I recommend you to do not do it because it's since it's responsive, it is always going to go smaller and larger. So in this video, you learn how to update, in this case, the password of your account. Reset the password, but when you are logged in, if you want a video about how to recover your password, imagine that you forget it and you want to receive an email with the code so you can change the password. If you want a video like that, please leave in the comments, leave a like, subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoyed it and see you soon.